Welcome to the Edge of NFT podcast with your hosts, Jeff Kelly, Ethan Janney, and Josh Krieger. We aim to bring you not only the top 1% of what's going on with NFTs today, but what will stand the test of time. We explore the nuts and bolts and the business side, but also the human element of how NFTs are changing the way we interact with the things that we love. This podcast is for the futurists and dreamers, the disruptors and creators, the fans and connectors, and the makers and doers that are pumped about this ecosystem and driving where it goes next. Well, look, at this point in the show, we, um, we always like to shift gears a little bit and get your personal perspective on uh, a few questions. They're called edge quick hitters, and they're a, a fun, quick way to get to know you a little better. Uh, there's 10 questions, and we're looking for short, single word or few word answers, uh, but feel free to uh, expand if you get the urge. Do uh, you guys want to dive in and... Uh, Let's do it. Participate. This is okay. going to be deep, man. This is. I, I, I wish this could go on for an hour and a half or something, but I guess I okay. <laughs> I know, right? All right, cool. Well, let's let's kick it off the top. Joshua, let's start with you, man. What's the first thing you remember ever purchasing in your life? Well, that's actually a funny story that I tell a lot, which is that my mother gave me an allowance, and I wanted to buy "Purple Rain" by Prince, the album when it came out. And my mother thought nice. it was dirty. She thought it was, you know, that it was inappropriate for someone of my age. And so I told her I was going to, sorry, mom, I told her I was going to buy something else. And then I still went and bought Purple Rain, so, <laughs> which I still listen to one of the great albums of all time. So. Definitely. And it was inappropriate for someone your age. And that's why you <laughs> needed to get it. <laughs> Absolutely. You're 100% correct. Nice. You know, even, uh, even in my old age now, listening to, to Darling Nikki, if you guys know that song. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't have been listening to that song uh, at that time. You so, know, yeah. it's so funny, though, when when kids buy these things that are inappropriate for their age, they don't even know why. You know what I mean? Like, it's, totally. it's the, the, the language and the, the kind of like euphemisms and things. Are, yes. Yeah. Totally. I, I wasn't, I was like 20 before I realized that she bop <laughs> by Cindy Lauper um, was, was about uh, what it was about. So yeah, yeah, I'll let the listeners figure that one out for themselves. <laughs> nice. Lynn, how about you, man? What was the first thing you remember ever purchasing? Uh, from uh, money I earned myself, Super Nintendo. Oh, nice. That's a good score nice. right there. Adam, how about you? You know, this is, this is an answer that's maybe going to, uh, bug Josh because he's a much bigger fan of the band than I am. But uh, my first music purchase, at least, was Pearl Jam's Ten. Solid, nice. yes. And if you just had an NFT to you know kind of verify that, right? <laughs> Seriously, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool, man. Uh, great. Okay, well, let's move on to question two, Lynn. Let's start with you. What's the first thing you remember ever selling in your life? Oh, that's easy. I sold Starburst to my classmates in high school. I bought them at Costco and I, I then I sold them out for like 25 cents a piece. Wow. Nice. Little capitalist. I like it. Man. Right. Nice. And Starburst too, right? Yeah. Super addictive. I love it. Uh, cool. Adam, how about you? Um, I lived on this small street in Santa Barbara growing up. And at the top of that street was a main street. And we, uh, when I was a kid, I remember had a lemonade stand that we'd do on the weekends. And that's the first thing I remember selling. And it's funny, I, I remember this now that we're doing this interview because the other day I was looking for an old photo of me with one of our clients, one of our music clients, because I've been friends with them since we were like five years old. And the photo that my mother sent me was the two of us sitting at the lemonade stand selling lemonade. And that's, uh, awesome. that's a guy named Yeti Beats who now works with Doja Cat, which is how we ended up being lucky enough to work with her. Nice. That's a great, Crazy. great Telling story. Man. I'm Joshua. a lemonade stand guy myself. So right on. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, how about you? Well, it's funny. This question is making me think of something that connects to our business that I had never thought of before, which was that uh, I used to sell these uh, limited edition buttons for this hydroplane race. Hydroplane, it was a boating race out, outside yeah. of Seattle where I was from as a kid and they were numbered. And I used to go to the sponsors and they would give kids buttons for free. I, and then I would go sell them in the little area where the guys who were collecting the buttons would, and they were worth more or less based on how many they were numbered on. So anyway. Now, did I you was, use I, the words limited edition? Because that is, that is very yep. entrepreneurial. Well, they were, they were numbered. So, I mean, you know, I was like eight, so I don't know if I called them limited edition, but the, the, the adults knew that which ones were more valuable. So, yeah. 
it's uh, basically an NFT right there. That's um, right. Verified mm -hmm. transaction. That's right. Indeed. Question number three, Adam, I'll start with you. What is the most recent thing you purchased? You know, I wish I had a creative answer to this question that made me uh, sound cooler than I am. But I think the last thing I bought was actually poop bags for my dog on Amazon. It's an awesome answer. And a necessity. Nice. <laughs> uh, Josh, how about you? Well, I'm going on the Amazon app right now. <laughs> and I'm noticing similar to Adam that uh, trash bags was the last thing that I bought. <laughs> well, I might recommend, guys, since you're green platform, there are biogradable poop, poop bags and trash bags on Amazon. Oh, got them. Yep. Nice. Yeah. That's Earth, got those Earth, too, yeah. I think they're yeah. called Earth Aware or something there, like that. They're green go. bags. Yes. It, alignment. Awesome. How about you, Lynn? Uh, I'm very excited because I spent all night last night setting this up. Uh, I bought a, you know, now I moved to Florida and I have a house instead of a tiny apartment in New York. Um, so I bought a 7.1 surround sound, like sound bar speaker for my TV. And, uh, you know, my wife was like, why are you waking up the, the toddler like late at night? So. <laughs> Makes all the difference in the world, man. That's when uh, I love to do my Amazon purchases late night. There you go. Uh, okay, let's go to question four, guys. Uh, Joshua, we'll start with you. What's the most recent thing you sold? Um, God, that's a tough question. I'm trying to think. Uh, I sold some furniture when I moved from Brooklyn to LA about two months ago. That's that's the most recent thing I've sold. Where in Brooklyn were you living? I was in Dumbo for the last six years. I was in New York oh, for nice. 20 years and the last six in Dumbo. Nice. I was in Clinton Hill. Nice. Very cool. Uh, okay. Uh, Lynn, how about you? You know, I, I also, I moved from uh, out of New York, right? So I actually found, had these uh, these Pro Studio M Audio speakers. And I was like, well, when I'm going to use that again? And I actually sold them for very, very cheap. I was very upset. And the, you know, the guy came like right away and picked it up from, <laughs> from the apartment. So. He knew he had a score there. Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace? How did you uh, how did you sell those? Um, yeah, it was it was it, uh, it was it was this app. Uh, I think it was like Let Go or something yeah. similar to Let Go. Yeah, right, one of those ones. Cool, Adam. How about you? Uh, I'm I'm struggling right now because I know it was on Facebook Marketplace, and my wife and I sold something because we just moved into our house. I can't remember what it was. It was something benign, like a chair right. or something like that. Right. 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 Let's right NFT on. those poop bags. Maybe we can get <laughs> a special price for them. We'll come up with Matty Moe. We can do something. I, uh, <laughs> I've seen Stranger Things. What can I say? <laughs>